Well, here on the Morning Blend, we have had the honor to talk about wonderful performances that have been happening on the beautiful Riverwalk in downtown Tampa. And of course, the Strass Center has had a big part in that. And once again, they are gearing up for their Arts Legacy remix, which means our friend Fred Johnson is back to talk about this last performance. Fred, first, how are you? I'm good. I'm great. It's always a pleasure to be with you, Natalie. Thank you. Fred, I've been looking forward to talking to you about this last one in particular here for May 21st because it is all about jazz. Fred, I know if you have multiple kids, they tell you not to pick your favorite kid. I know you are passionate about all the performances, but with you being the world-renowned jazz artist that you are, Come on now, this has to be a little close to your heart. Yeah, this is a special one for me, no doubt. It was the easiest one to dive into. There's no question <laughs> about that because I, I am really, really connected and really love this musical art form. It's been an important part of my life. And also, we have a tremendous opportunity now uh, during this, this particular uh, arts legacy, jazz, 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 to feature some phenomenal jazz artists here in the area that have really kind of etched the tapestry of jazz and also to be able to feature some young up and coming artists. We just had an, a great experience as a part of a thing that we do every two years called Straz Jazz, where we had 17 young aspiring high school jazz artists that became a part of an orchestra that we put together. And uh, it's, it's just a joy. And so we will be featuring two quartets from the, the that group as a part of this uh, presentation um, and as as well as uh, a little bit of dance we, we had a we had a special uh, grant that we got th this year in, in connection with our Straz jazz series and it affords us the opportunity to have uh, performances of jazz as well as uh, some dancers that'll be a part of it so it's young artists and some of the stalwart, you know, tr traditional strong artists in town. And I, I may sing a little bit myself. Oh, I, I like that. You kind of buried that one down there. <laughs> you know, it, it really seems like this is too full because we're talking about the performances on the Riverwalk, but I'm so glad you brought up the students because with your successful career that you've been able to have to give back there through the Patel Conservatory, that has got to be uh, such a, a dream come true in a way because it really is entertaining, but then also inspiring the next generation that seems to work so nicely when blended together. I think it's really the most important part. It's the most important work that I do, you know, to to have the, the blessing of being able to go out, travel the world and, you know, really share my artistry. I wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't for the mentors that uh, that I was able to learn from. So I think it is really the most important thing that we do because then we solidify the future, artists of the future, keeping the tradition alive. The greatest thing that you can really teach is, is, to, is to teach. And so um, I'm, I feel really honored to be able to do that. And of course, the Patel Conservatory does that on so many levels in theater, dance and music and really learning what's happening behind the scenes and how to make the magic happen, which is really important too. So yeah, to hear these young voices and to hear these young folk on, on instruments is really an inspiration to me, it really is. Well, you also kind of spark conversations, if you will, in the community. And something we were talking about before you got started that we've not talked about here on the show yet, virtual town halls. You say they've been very popular happening on the fourth Thursday of each month. Explain what these town halls are, why the Strass Center wanted to be involved in this, and and where you could see this program going. The town halls are really, really an important part of the Strass Center's commitment to diversify, to include, to, to um, welcome the community, to learn from the community, to share more broadly to the full measure of the community uh, who we are, who we desire to be, and have everyone in the community be included. Um, after the Un unfortunate circumstances that we have had in this past year, uh, some of the challenges that we pay, face and acknowledging more deeply the byproduct of discrimination. We recognize that there are many members of our community, the African-American community, the, 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 the Black and Indigenous and communities of color have not been aligned and have not had the opportunity to really tell their story. So it's a great way for the community at large to come together, to learn about each other, 
to acknowledge the contributions of our minority communities and to create a new conversation so that when we are able to be back fully with each other, then we'll be back fully with each other in a real commitment of inclusion and diversity and equity. So it's it's one of the ways that, that as an institution, we're really committed to deepening our relationship with all of the members of our community. Uh, it, it couldn't have come at a better time. I'm so glad you're doing that. And to kind of come back to where we started, of course, the last Arts Legacy remix on the Riverwalk, all about jazz. I'm curious, now that we are at the last one, Fred, how has this whole program, what's been the feedback overall as you sit back and prepare for this last one? What are your thoughts? It's been phenomenal. And it's just the last one for this season. So we'll, you know, we'll take a break and then we'll start up again in the fall. But it's been really, really great because it has, again, created an opportunity for folks to be there on the river, to hear and experience uh, outside of our interior theaters the opportunity to come together and to celebrate music, to celebrate the river, to celebrate the diversity of our community. Uh, people, many people have said, this is my first engagement with this Jazz Center and it's so great to feel the diversity, to learn about different countries, to hear music and see dance and see visual art from artists uh, from around the world and to recognize that these are all folk that live right here in our wonderful community. Oh, I love that. When I first moved here, I thought the Strass Center was just about performances on the stage from other areas of the country traveling through, but boy, was I wrong. The Strass does so many wonderful things, including introducing us to you. Fred, we always appreciate when you are with us. Of course, you can go to the Strass Center for more information and uh, enjoy the 21st. It'll be another spectacular show. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Natalie.